Hello everyone, welcome back. This is TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Guys, today the video is the best players from Championship Manager 1997-98. We're going to be looking through all of the best players to buy from that game and a couple of others that I think personally are really, really good players that you should have in your team. Now, just before we do start, guys, please make sure any of those social media outlets that you use, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube, obviously make sure you give them a follow by searching for the username that's above the icon. And of course, please make sure if you are new and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel as well as hitting that notification bell as well so you know when my latest video has been uploaded to the channel. Well, apart from that, guys, let's not stall anymore. Let's see the best players to buy from Championship Manager 1997-1998. So guys, this is the Championship Manager 1997-98 best players to buy on the game. Now within the shortlist, it only limits you to 16 people. So we will be looking at a few players from their respective teams. So first of all, we're starting off with Rui Costa, 25-year-old from Fiorentina. He's valued just under £7 million. He is a fantastic player to have in your team. Now, the next per person that we're looking at is one of the best goalkeepers on the game, Fabian Bartes from Monaco, 26 years of age, and he's worth just over £4 million. His stats shows he's already going to be a great goalie. Now, from one goalkeeper to another, one of the best goalkeepers on the game, once again, Richard Wright from Ipswich Town. He usually, at the start of Championship Manager 97-98, majority of English clubs, big clubs, go to try and sign him so if you're looking out you if you are looking out for a good goalie Richard Wright should be top of your list cheap really young English he turns out like I said to be one of the best goalies on the game Sabri Lamucci from Auxerre 25 years of age really good midfielder on this game his stats don't really show it, but he is really good and as you can see already three big clubs already want him uh, and he's one of these other players like Richard Wright, who goes pretty quickly at the start of the game. Mehmet Scholl. Now, in real life football, he didn't really set the world alight. But on this game, even though his stats don't really show it, he is a really good midfielder. And Bayern Munich don't really like letting go of him. But usually it takes about five, six million pounds to prize him away from Bayern Munich. Lars Ricken, a young Attacking midfielder from Dortmund. He is valued at £3 million. But, I mean, he's one of these players that he, he like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he seems to really make a difference when he comes off off the subs bench. But, nonetheless, he is a fantastic player to buy. Bent Anderson, without a shadow of a doubt, probably the best goalkeeper on this game. 20 years of age. Once again, Swedish player. Championship manager um, creators obviously loved Sweden uh, because they they found a lot of their players seem to be uh, obviously the best players on the game. But never mind about that. Tenerife, he's playing for just under three million pounds. And like I said, he's definitely a goalkeeper you should look at. Beyond Goldback, uh, if you remember him and he used to play for Chelsea, he plays across the whole of the park in midfield. Fantastic player to have. Yes, he's 28, so you probably get about six seasons out of him. But as you can see already, Marseille, Bilbao and Valencia, obviously three big clubs in France and Spain, do want him. So if you need a good class, a, a really good world-class midfielder, Goldback is one of those guys you need to have. Keith Gillespie, the Man United reject. He went on to Newcastle when Newcastle gave them Andy Cole. He's another player that seems to be really, really good on this game. He's only worth £2 million. He's he's one of these players you probably think, I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole, but on this game on CM9798, he's really, really good. Alain Gomar, probably one of the best, mid, uh, not midfielders, sorry, one of the best defenders on the game. His injury process is quite high. You know, we will admit that. He's valued at £2 million, but he can play at right back and centre back. But this guy, he is a fantastic defender. 
Stefan Kloss, another really good top-notch goalkeeper, once again from Dortmund. He's not in the he's not the Germany's first choice keeper, you know. Okay, fair enough. You know he's got he's got to go against Oliver Kahn, obviously, but he's a brilliant goalkeeper to have. Danny Griffin, another young defender from St Johnston, from Northern Ireland. He seems to be always on everyone's list and even on the creators list. He's he's one of the best defenders on here, regardless of what the stats show. His injury pronosis may be one of the deciding factors that a lot of people don't buy him, but he's still really good to have. Pedro Martins, really good defensive midfielder on the game. He's playing at Sport in Lisbon. He's only valued just under half a million pounds. Um, his stats don't really show much. His injury pronosis do show that he's prone to injuries as well. But once again, he's another player that championship manager feels that he was one of these best players on the game. Teddy Lukic, another Swedish player. Once again, Teddy Lukic has made the championship manager list. They obviously had a little thing for him. He's at IFK Gothenburg. He's only valued at £230,000. Injury pronosis is low, which is really good, obviously, because we're coming across a lot of players who do have high injury pronosis. But Apart from that, really cheap, quite young. He's getting into his prime now. And he's one of these players that you can have for over a decade. Pa Andersson from Norkomping, Swedish once again. His stats don't really show tremendous amount, but I mean, he's valued at just under £200,000. So he's one of these players that you're going to have him, you're going to buy him for dirt cheap and you'll have him for about five years. Fabian Hohei Hing, 19 year old fullback from PSV. Injury pronosis is really low, which is really good start. He's valued at £28,000. You can have him on loan to begin with and see you know, whether or not if he does it for you. But once again, he's another player that does a, the job for you in the long run. Now, the next player we will be looking at, guys, is Thierry Henri from Monaco, 19 years of age. This is about the time when Sir Alex Bergson said no to him. Uh, he's valued at seven and a quarter million pounds. And as you can see, his stats show that he's going to be a formidable player. Leandro from Sporting Lisbon once again. He's Brazilian, 21 years of age. He's unavailable to begin with at the start of the season. He's valued at 2.9, but he's one of these goal, key, goal scorers. Sorry, he's one of these goal scorers that uh, he's just prolific as soon as he gets the ball inside the box. Now, one of my favourite players on Championship Manager 97-98, Nuno Gomez from Benfica. He's only valued at just over half a million pounds. He's 21 years of age, so you got him for at least 15 years on this game. Injury pronosis is 14, which is a bit of a shame, but he is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most single greatest goal scorer on Championship Manager 97-98. Martin Zadelton from Parma, young, 20 years of age. He can play across the whole of the upfront area on right, left and centre. He's Brazilian. He's only worth £1.1 million. But his injury promises is a seven, which is good. Obviously, you need a striker who's obviously going to be there week in, week out. Martin Zadelton is one of those guys who can score you loads of goals and be fresh as a daisy near enough every single game. Eric Nevland. Another young striker, Eric Nevland, he plays at Man United. He's valued at £1 million, but he is unavailable at the start of the season. He is another striker like uh, Adelton. He's always going to be there week in, week out. His injury pronosis is very, very small. And once again, he's another poacher. He will bag you lots and lots of goals. Chris Casper, brilliant left back and centre back on the game. Not many people talk about him, but he is one of these players. If you don't buy him for a big club, let's say you buy him for, let's say, Bury or Huddersfield Town, you know, one of these lower league clubs, but not too low, as low as Talk United, but a club that's in Division 1, maybe Division 2, you can buy him dirt cheap. I mean, he's £700,000. You know, he turns out to be one of the best defenders on the game. Michael Clegg. 
His stats doesn't show that he's going to be good, but he is fantastic. He's a right back as well as a left back. Obviously at Man United, he's valued at £1.1 million already, but Everton, West Ham, Coventry, Tottenham and Wimbledon all want him. And he turns out to be a formidable fullback on this game. John Curtis, another Man United player, the last Man United player on this list. He's a central defender, 18 years of age. He's part of the England under-21 setup. Injury pronosis, very low once again. Not many people rave about him, but he's a really good player on the game. He's valued at two million pounds. Generically, nine times out of ten, if you're not playing, if you're not managing Manchester United, the manager at the time he lets him go at the end of his contract. And on here it shows at the end of this season, you'll see him go to teams like Blackburn or West Ham. So you know mid-table teams in the Premier League. So if you are a mid-table Premier League team or bottom half the Premier League team or even Division One. Get him. He's one of the best central defenders on the game. And finally, Ibrahama Bakayoko, without shadow of a doubt, the best attacking midfielder or the best striker on this game. He bags you, shed loads of goals. He's always there in every single season. He's always there getting to be the top goal scorer of the campaign. So if you're looking for an out and out striker or uh, a, a, an advanced playmaker, Ibrahim Bakayoko is the guy you need to buy from Montpellier. And he's only worth £2.4 million. He's 20 years of age. You've got him for over 15 years on this game. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Those are all of the best players on the Championship Manager 97-98. If you have liked this video, please make sure that you do smash like on the video. If you're new, sub sub subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell as well so you know when the latest video has been uploaded. If you do know of any other players, guys, please make sure you leave a comment below and I'll have a look at it and I'll, and I'll see whether or not they would make my best 11 when that best 11 video comes up on our channel. Well, guys, apart from that, thanks very much for your time and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next video here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.